So did you guys like that drone shot? I actually flew up to a cave way up on the cliff and then flew it backwards to kind of pull out and have that real cinematic look. Hope you enjoyed that. It's been fun adding this little extra layer into my videos. In this video, I want to give you a little backstory on a recent fishing trip I did with my family in Central Oregon. There were three main reasons why we did this trip. One is to spend time with the family. Absolutely love our camping trips we do every year too and exploring new places. And this time, we went to Central Oregon on the hunt for brown trout. Kobe had never caught a brown trout, so that was objective number two. And we were hoping to get into some really big trophy-sized trout, which we did on this trip. But let's start out in the very beginning. We were super excited because we had a brutal winter. I mean, it's been cold almost every single week. We've had a few little glimmers of, of sunshine and warmth, but it's been snowing a ton this year. Mountains need it, but I'm ready for some warmer weather. And when we saw the forecast in Central Oregon being in the 70s, we were pretty excited about that. And the prospect of being able to catch a really big brown trout in a pretty small stream. I am trying to match the hatch. I saw something like this float down. So I'm going to see if maybe I can get him to come up like this. We did see a swallow. So did I. We saw Big old helicopter went by. But I'm sure you've thrown squall at him. I did. I started off with that and they just completely ignored it. See? That's a big fish over there. Oh my God. Yeah, they're, there's, they're the, all the way down here, dude. Like, all the way down here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna tie on now to see if I can get him to eat. We go fish on <laughs> just this little teeny fly this little uh, like a blue wing olive <laughs> nice oh he's off damn it so we were a little disappointed that we didn't get into any fish that evening uh last night was tough lots of fish lots of different flies had a couple on but we just kind of watched them splash and eat right in front of us yeah, that was bad. <laughs> it was bad but it certainly motivated us to get up super early the next morning and try it again and we went back to that same spot that we saw just a ton of fish rising hey guys good morning another day in central oregon targeting brown trout this small stream out here in central oregon is just loaded full of fish and i cannot wait to get out there and fish it's a little cool to start off but it's supposed to be like 75 degrees again today. I'll be in a t-shirt later on this afternoon and that is just glorious when you consider how much winter fishing I did this year. So super excited about that, but all right, I'll see you on the fishing hole. All right, let's do this, fish hole. 
So one of the coolest things that happened right, right away, right? We saw some fish rising again. Kobe threw out a big dry pattern in kind of some really skinny water and it was pretty cool what happened next. So I've got on this big old squalla fly here. I'm gonna see if maybe somebody would want something big for breakfast. You got him. Fish on. Nice, Kobe. <laughs> Sweet. It's a nice bow. Dude, that's a nice rainbow. That's a pretty, yeah, that's a good bow. That is a great bow. Look at that. I didn't think he was that big. Ooh, sorry. No, oh, it's so good. I'm in your way. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Nice shot, man. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, That's a good bow. That's a really good bow. Nice job, man. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Skunk is off. <laughs> no skunk. Okay, so now we got the first fish out of the way, right? The skunk is off. Don't have to worry about not catching any fish on this day. The next thing was pretty cool. Kobe finally hooked in to his first brown trout he has ever caught. And it was a really pretty fish. Yeah, nice, Cove. Fish on. Come on, I'm hope I'm hoping for a brown for you. That looks like a brown. This could be Kobe's first brown trout. <laughs> oh, that, I think that's a brown. You can kind of see the yellow when he's jumping. Specie checked off the list. Nice job, man. That's a pretty fish. Gorgeous. Look at that guy. Nice job. Pop right out. Nice. Brown trout. Nice job, man. Beautiful. <laughs> Sweet. Way to go, man. So we got the first fish out of the way. We got Kobe's brown trout in the net. And then we proceeded to figure it out, right? We figured out this fishery and we started to catch just a ton of fish in this little section that I called the honey hole. It was just a amazing day of fishing. Absolutely amazing day of fishing. See for yourself. Nice fish, dude. Look, that's a good fish. Well, up under his gill. Wow. Justy. Look at this guy. Oh, <laughs> nice fish. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's in the net. Well, that is a chunk. Oh, gone. <laughs> oh, that was not cinematic at all. This <laughs> first brown trout. Boom. <laughs> we got to get Justin into one. He came a little bit late. Needs to get a fish. <laughs> we'll get you one. That's a, that's a, oh, he's a tank. Jeez. Look at that fish. So you guys know what's cool about this fishery as well? So back in the 90s, they put these brown trout in here. They're now wild, they're self-sustaining. They're not native, but they do self-sustain and spawn in the river. But they occasionally dump these fingerling rainbow trout in here to give the browns another food source. And sometimes those trout survive and turn into these great big old tanks. Jeez, that's probably four pounds. Oh, it's heads up, it's heads up, it's heads up, it's heads up. Oh, 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 oh. dude, this is a really nice brown. Wow. <laughs> Look at that guy. Holy shit. That was a gorgeous brown trout. Sweet, on the black coronament, in a river. Who would have thought? Look at that brown. Wow. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Fish on. Got it right there. 
Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. <laughs> a big old brown. Oh, they pull, pull, pull. Oh, yeah, it's, it's brown in that. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that is a pretty fish. Wow. Hello, Mr. Beaver. Nice. There we go. Oh, it's so much fun we could target him. This one's got a little more weight. Oh, oh nice rainbow. Took the squalling in, the green one. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Holy crap. Wow, this is an 18 inch fish. Oh, yeah, fish on. So did you enjoy that fish hot reel? I certainly enjoyed putting that together. So much fun to put this music and just kind of energy behind catching all these fish. So after every evening of fishing, one, one of the things that I love doing is after dinner, right? And we had a great dinner that night. We had some bison chili, which was just ridiculous. My wife makes some rock solid homemade chili. I like to do a little exploring. I also like to camp right on the river. And we were staying at this little river ranch that was absolutely wonderful. It had a cabin, a yurt, and a small RV. And we were in the RV. They also had a gathering place called the Hooch. And that's when you can visit with other guests that were at the ranch and just talk about the great day of fishing that you just had. And we did that every night, so much fun. But I ended up grabbing the fly rod and just head down to the river, right? There's this section of this stream that is private property. It's on the ranch. And it just afforded you a little bit of private fly fishing. And we would go down there almost every night and just cast a line in. And some of the, really the best trout that I caught were in these spots, probably because they don't get a lot of pressure. So pretty lucky. I'm in uh, Central Oregon with my family. Kobe's with me, he's got a friend here. And my wife, Amy. And we are just fishing for a lot of days in a row and really enjoying it. It's just absolutely beautiful out here and we're really fortunate. We're on a bed and breakfast, a ranch out here that has about 40 acres and they have got a lot of property. Even saw some wild turkeys yesterday, which was crazy. I haven't seen that in a long time, but we're out here uh, fishing and the river's pretty packed. There's a lot of people um, hanging out on this uh, river fishing. So it's kind of nice to have this about a mile section here that's private property that we can fish in without anybody, uh, without any other pressure. So it's kind of nice. Seriously though, I absolutely love fishing behind camp. Do you like doing that when you're fishing? You know, it's fun going exploring, but at the end of the day, just to walk down right behind camp and catch these awesome fish, there's just nothing better. We've been fishing kind of random spots during the day and we finish up in the evening here on the ranch. So. Let's go down to this little stream and see if we can uh, catch a nice uh, big brown trout tonight. All right, let's go do this. See you down there, fish on. Never easy for tall people. Oh, made it. Oh, oh. this looks good. Oh man, oh, this, this doesn't look good at all. Not a lot of room to cast. There we go. Fish on. Oh, oh, nice fish. Holy crap. Oh my God. It's incredible. These size fish are in little teeny creeks like this it's nuts oh that's a nice little rainbow let's break it down there without falling on my ass oh beautiful look at this guy nice nice fish look at that fish beautiful fish look at that wow that is badass wow okay 
at this point, Kobe and I were determined, right? We, we caught a lot of brown trout. We caught a lot of great big rainbow trout, but we still hadn't gotten into the big fish, the big brown trout, right? That's, that was objective number three. So there was a particular spot in this stream that we had been eyeballing every single time that we drove up and down this river road, but it always had somebody in it. Well, finally, on one of our last days, we had that spot to ourselves and oh my God, we immediately knew that something special was gonna happen because we could see these massive browns rolling around and rooting around in the mud, eating things. It was incredible. It's like nothing that I've ever seen before. We would just stand up on the high bank and watch these fish feed. So we put a plan together, walked down, and what happens next was just thrilling. One of the best evenings of fishing that, that I've experienced in a very long time. And it was so much fun experiencing that with Kobe. So much fun. All right, we we're on this very small section of this stream and you can see the brown trout rolling around and eating something. I've got a squala and a nymph dropper. I'm gonna toss that in here and see if I can get an eat. All right. I'm actually, my heart's actually pounding. It's, there's some fucking huge fish. Oh my God, there's another one over there. Oh, there we go. He took the squala. He took the dry squala. Oh, ho, ho. This is a really good brown, Kobe. Really good brown. Holy shit. Yeah, we weren't excited at all. <laughs> Look at this thing. He's like 20 inches. Easy. Oh my God. Big, big brown. Big, big brown. Oh, I gotta chase him. Oh, he's coming back. Oh my God. He ate the squala. Dude, this is that big brown that I saw. Look at him. Oh my God, stay on. Stay on, baby. Stay, holy crap. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, he's huge, dude. He's huge. Oh, my heart's pounding. Come on, stay buttoned. Stay buttoned. Oh. Stay buttoned. Come on, get in the net. Oh my God. Holy crap. There is a sight to be seen right there. That is just a gorgeous fish. Wow, look at the look at the little stream. And look at this fish. <laughs> wow. Kobe is hooked up with a monster brown. Unbelievable. These fish are in these tiny little stream. This is just stupid fun. Yeah. <laughs> Here, try to stay there. Here. Dude, that's big. Yeah, that's big. All right, I'm gonna come under you. Yeah. Let's try maybe back him up to me. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's fucking huge. Yeah. Let's try to back. Try to back slowly back up. Get him. Just go, but, uh, don't. Holy dude, you're gonna be happy with this thing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy shit, dude. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is a trophy size fish. <laughs> holy shit. No, I think he uh, he ate the, he, the, he ate, he, ate the nymph. he ate the nymph and I yep. fouled him with the squala. Just a small disclosure. So that fish was hooked in the mouth. It got the tagline stuck in its tail, broke the fly that was in its mouth, and then became foul hook. So that's a legitimate hookup on a really nice brown.
So the dry ended up hooking him in the tail. You can see the nymph right in his mouth, right there. Oh, dude, we need to get a photo. Yeah, this is photo worthy. All right, Kobe's gonna release, Let's lift him up just a little bit so you can take a peek at him, yeah. <laughs> dude! <laughs> That was pushing 22, 23 inches. That was a big fish. And by the way, when I tell this story again, it'll be 26 inches. And when I tell it five years from now, it'll be almost 30 inches. Sweet. Way to go, man. Fish on. Fish on. Seriously though, can you tell that we were just a little bit excited after catching those fish? Bonus fish. We were about ready to leave. And I saw these fish rising over here and kind of this Oh, kind of a, almost a still water. And it's a, it was a big old brown trout. <laughs> and he ate, ate my squala. Dry fly, you can believe that. Unbelievable. Look at this thing. Oh. Ready. Big brown trout. Oh my gosh, can't even get you in the net. Oh, look at this thing. Holy crap. Just a warrior, my tag lines on him. Oh, holy crap. It's a big dude. Toothy. Right in the nose. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Well, that didn't suck. Four big brown trout out of this tiny little creek. You have to love that. Seriously though, how cool is that? Those fish are huge. Absolutely amazing. And hey, if you're just getting started with fly fishing and need a little help with uh, what gear to select, check out this video right here. And I think that'll help you the next time you're out shopping for fly gear. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us and fish on.